job easier. Tape measure, 5 16 socket for the hose clamps, 8 millimeter wrench for the bolts or for the nuts, a Phillips screwdriver, and a marker. That's what you'll need to install the console. And we provide the 13 16 drill bits. So. so here's your hardware bag that you get with the console. Now it's got a lot of parts in there, some which you'll use and some you'll not. This, the reason why we've got so many parts in there is so we can fit as many machines as possible. We've tried this in many different machines and we've come up with these parts bags for the different various machines and I'll kind of explain that with the Polaris as I install it. Um, you'll get zip ties to kind of tie up some of your wires if you don't use our cable managers. Um, you'll get some cinch straps to help with that as well or to use if, as you need it. These bolts right here allow you to tip the console forward and back for viewing and the spacers allow you to do it as well so I'll show that in the Polaris. This little neoprene strip has got a sticky on one side and it's a smooth on the other and it's kind of a padding so if you got a spot where it's wearing and you don't want it to wear you can put that up on there. You get some lock nuts, some regular nuts, some flat washers, some smaller flat washers, and these are the neoprene washers that go up against the outside portion of your roof to kind of seal against your roof. And the so before you start installing on the machine, we got to do one housekeeping item, and that's install our coax, because we don't know what size coax you're going to get, so you're, this is something you're going to have to do. So what you do is you drop it down through this little grommet hole right here. And you'll turn the console over. You kind of want to put it on something soft because these are lights, so you don't want to break the lights. You'll want to pull this grommet off. That'll expose the radio. And there's where you need to put the coax, install the coax onto. So I'll need to try to do this so you can see without putting my hands all the way in there. You push this on tight and then you spin this on. Just hand tight, tighten it up tight with your hands, and then you just put this grommet back on. And then you're ready to start installing the console. So to install the console, it helps if you have a, somebody help you out, and then what you do is you take these clamps and you just roll them up through these holes right there. Kind of set it up there and roll them through, and there's two, one on each side. And then you just torque them down. So now I'm just going to put the other hose clamp on. So you have four, so two of them, two go for the back, and I already put the one on, so here's the other one. It's just a 5 16. And then I'm going to put that up inside there. Just cinch it up tight, and you'll see that the console is pretty tight. Measured both sides, made sure it was the same on both sides and then I tightened down my um, hose clamps. And then the comm is held up there. I just need to drill my two holes up at the top. I'm just going to put my bolt through so I know exactly where to drill my hole with the drill bit we provide you. So I've just got my mark, I got, I'm going to just put a little mark on my window here where it needs to go. I'm going to drill and then I know that that's one and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So now that I got my holes I'm just going to take the console off just for just a little bit to, to drill out those holes. You could also drill from the top if you're brave enough but I'm going to take it off so I can drill from the bottom up. So now with my 1364th bit I'm just going to drill my two holes. So the reason why I put it on first and then measured the holes and then now I'm putting it on again is because these will, when these are tightened up, it'll kind of put the console in its proper location. It'll kind of pull it forward and put it in its proper location. And now that I've got it ready, I'm ready for my bolts and I need to figure out which bolt size I need. What to do is, I know my 12 millimeters are out, but the 40 or the 
The 45s, 60s, and 80s are for different lengths. And when I put mine through, my 45s are actually the ones that are going to work the best for my application of how far I want it to go down. Because I want it, I want my viewing angle to be about where it's at. So I'm going to use the 45. So I've pre-installed the the neoprene washer. I'm just going to stick it down through the hole, and it'll seal really nice once once I once I torque it down. So I'm going to take the wider flat washer and I'm going to put it on there, and then I'm going to take one of my regular nuts, one of these little eight millimeters, and I'm going to just spin it up there and tighten it down. that just tighten it down with the console you had all those spacers we have a bunch of halves and one quarter my two halves have actually worked the best because I only want enough thread down here that I get a full engagement of my nut so two spacers are gonna be perfect for this Again, on this side I'm just gonna do one full engagement and stop There it is. I can go a little tighter if I want to. And I can... So now it's time to start running wires. This is your PTT wire and your coax. I'm just going to run these two. Run my coax and the PTT up inside here. I'm going to put a zip tie in there. PTT is going to drop down, the coax is going to keep running along here. And then this will jump, drop down inside there so the PTT can go to the shifter lever. And this one will come along here like this. And then head to the back. Awesome. So on your PTT we give you an extension cord. I'm just going to pull the PTT out for right now. And I'm going to actually feed the PTT down through this hole, the extension cord portion of it. And then I'm going to go behind, I'm going to go behind the, the dash and then I'm going to hook it to the, to the shifter lever. You can see there's the extension cord that we that we ran off of there. I just got one PTT plugged in there. So what you do is you just unplug that and depending on how many PTTs you get is how many splitters you have. So this one just this one would split two. You just plug the one one PTT in there and then plug the other one and then make sure you plug that into the extension cord. Or if you had multiple PTTs you might get a three or a four place splitter and you just put as many PTTs as you want and plug that into the six foot extension cord and you're able to run up to four PTTs on our system. So with the kit as I showed you you get your you get four of these hose clamps two are for the console like we just installed and two, two are for the horizontal mount but I personally like the T-bolt clamps you can buy those for a little bit extra um, we got the 1.75 inch diameter and the 2 inch that will fit most cages, but there are a few of those one and a half that will not fit. That's why we provide you with the hose clamps because it fits every cage. But you can upsail and get these uh, T-bolt clamps. I'm going to install it with the T-bolt clamps because I think they look better. So if you've got the hose clamps, you just put the hose clamps on here. But since I'm using the T-bolt clamps because I think they look better, just put this on top here. Feed both your T-bolt clamps through. Feed the bolt through. Like that. And these are these are tool lists, so you just uh, you just spin them on. You will probably not have this, but you can see that this mounts on top. It'll be above the 
it'll be above your window and then these will just go around your roll bar and you can see once once you tighten that up tight it'll be solid for your antenna so I had just a little bit extra so what I'm just gonna do is just run it a little bit past and I'm just gonna put it in right there you don't want to coil this thing in a coil that's bad just kind of run it a little bit longer into the car and that's the way it'll be so I'm just going to take the animal connector off this just slips through here and then you're going to take a wrench and tighten that down so I'm going to run the power along my driver's side down my A pillar and I'm going to go through this penetration right here and all the way over to the terminal block. But you actually have to run it in reverse because this is what will fit through that penetration. You're going to have a hard time getting the fuse block through that penetration so you have to actually crawl underneath here and push it from the bottom up and it is a it is a fight sometimes you'll have to loosen your plastic or these bolts but I kind of push mine down through there and it does fit down through there so I will be able to get it I'm just gonna fight it up through once you get it up through it'll uh, it'll move really quick and you can just zip tie it to the a pillar back around and, and plug in the console now again, fishing the power wire is probably the worst part of this whole install on this Polaris. So to do that, I'm actually going to fish a piece of tight wire down through there. Then I'm going to hook it to it and pull it back through to make it easier. Now that i got my fishing wire pulled through there, I'm just going to tape this on and that'll help me pull it through. So yeah, this was, a, this was definitely a fight for me. Um, I probably should have loosened it, but I did get it finally, and I'm pulling it through. So make sure you put as little as tape as possible. It did fall off on me a couple times, but I did help it by pushing it from the bottom up. So mine, I'm going to want mine to come on the, with ACC. So on the Polaris, the ACC is on the left. There's your hot and your ground. So make sure you disconnect the battery, because if you reverse the polarity, it voids the warranty. That's what that whole sticker is on the side of the console is about. Um, we have several of these SAE connectors, which is this connector portion right here. You can buy these online, and if you cut the wrong end and you plug in the wrong end and, and put the red to red and the hot to hot, but, a, but this has been switched, it will reverse the polarity. That's why I recommend just staying with our cables and using our colors, and then you won't have any problems with that. Okay, I'm just going to peel these, the sticky off. I'm going to kind of, I know that that's center. I've already measured center there, so that's where this one goes. I'm just going to put that right there. Now press and hold stiff for about 30 seconds. So now these cords will split, so I'm just going to put one of these guys right here, one of these guys right here. I've got one more that I'll put over here, and one more that I'll put right over here, and then I'll be done with the cords. 